Hey guys, I'm myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, we're less than a month away from iOS 16 developer beta 1 as of the filming of this video. So in this video, I wanted to share with you guys how you can install iOS 16 on the first day of release, which should be June 6. Apple usually holds WWDC for an entire week, but on the first day of that week, we see the first beta for the next major OS. And of course, this year, if history is any indication, we'll see iOS 16 and developer beta 1. So in this video, I'm going to show you two methods on how you can install iOS 16 on your device. So as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, as I mentioned, June 6 is less than a month away. As of today, we're about 28, 27 days from seeing the first beta. I'm super excited. Let me know if you're excited for the next beta as well in those comments down below. But the first method I want to show you is Apple's public beta testing program and I'll explain the difference between Apple's public beta testing program and the developer testing program so the first thing of course links will be in the description if you want to head on over into Safari and join the Apple public beta right here it is so right here is the guide to public beta of course you want to go ahead and select iOS right here and then you want to scroll down here and then you want to go ahead and make sure you click on enroll your device and this will bring you to the page where you can go ahead and log in with your Apple ID and once you do so to give you a few steps here on how to proceed of course you want to make sure you back up all your data and once you're ready to go right here where it says install profile you want to go ahead and click download profile and this will install the profile onto your iPhone so you want to click allow and then it's going to bring you over to settings or you're going to head on over into settings here and you'll see a profile available to be installed now once you're ready it'll prompt you you can click install enter your phone's passcode the one that you use to unlock your phone and once you enter it it'll install and it'll ask you to reboot your iPhone and you're ready to go. Once you come back from that reboot, you will go back into settings, general, and then software updates and iOS 16 public beta should populate on this particular section of the OS right here. So the difference between public beta and developer beta when it comes to major OS uh, releases, in this case, iOS 16, let's say Apple releases iOS 16 developer beta one, which should be the day right here on June 6. We won't get the public beta version until maybe a month later. It typically takes anywhere from 28 days to 32 days for public beta testers to get the first beta on their device because it is a public beta and of course you'll be able to install it but it will be a month later now if you want to install the beta on the first day on june 6 you can also do that in a link down below the app store app for apple's developer application this one is for developers so apple developer app of course this is an app directly from apple you want to make sure you download the application and now i'm going to show you how to get the developer install profile in order to get it on day one on release date you want to head on over to the developer app once you download it then you want to head on over into accounts right here on the tabs and then you want to go into enroll now right here and you're going to log in with your apple id now, I've created a dummy account here just to show you because my personal account's already registered to Apple's developer account. And here it is. You get prompted in order to install iOS 16. Once it is available, you want to click continue here. It gives you a brief description of the benefits of having the developer beta versus the public beta. You want to make sure you read this information right here. Go ahead and click continue here. And then it's going to ask you if you want to enroll. It's going to explain how much it costs and everything else you need to know about it. Just click continue here and it'll prompt to that the developer beta here it's going to cost you $99 per year so this will renew every year you'll go through your personal information and steps on how to sign up and this will guide you directly to enroll your device once you do all the personal information of course I'm not going to do that I've already done this on my account I don't want to purchase a second account here but you'll see here that this uh, beta does cost $99 a year or I think it's yeah $98.99 or $98.99 a year yes right there it is and once you enroll your device all you have to do is head on over into Safari and go into the developer portal. And here it is. You'll log in with the same Apple ID you just registered your device with. And once you log in after you go ahead and register your device, you'll be able to see the beta profile for iOS 16 on June 6th 
right here right now obviously we're testing 15.5 you want to click install profile just like we do for public beta but again this time it's going to be developer beta go into settings as well same process here profiles and then go ahead and install the profile reboot your iphone and once you reboot your iphone you want to head on over back into settings here and then you go into general software updates and ios 16 developer beta one should populate for you on day one so two options one where you get the beta on release date but you do have to pay a yearly subscription but the other one is also available which is the public beta and you do get it a month later but i think it's also something that you can look into if you're not looking to install the beta right away let me know if you're excited about ios 16 again 27 to 28 days uh, roughly here before we see the first beta i thought i share this information with you guys because i get this question every year and hopefully this will answer that question and some of you that are new to the channel will learn these new processes on how to install beta software on your iphones thank you for watching guys i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you on the next one peace